man, you so dirty. Yeah, you look so dirty. You were never worthy. Lately, it's you. Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I am going to be talking to you about is about how today's modern day women, black women in particular, in my humble opinion, have went crazy. In what way? A lot of women want to say that they are going celibate, that they are practicing celibacy. Not abstinence, because I'm going to break that down in a minute, because they're, they're not really the same. I'm going to break that down a little bit. But I want to show you how women, after that 304 phase, after life gets hard, now they want to pretend that they are women of virtue. And I want to really dive into this right quick. So let me go ahead and put some clips up for you, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a second as I put it on your screen. One second, I'm looking for the thing. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, let's get into it. I got to turn the volume down because it's kind of, yeah. All right, let's get it, y'all. My bad. You can at any point decide that you don't want to have sex with nobody. You can decide if I want to go years because I could have been at a point in my life. Hold on. I could have been at a point in my life Let him where have I sit. was out here doing whoever, whenever, because maybe I ain't had no guidance. Maybe I ain't had no direction. Maybe I ain't had If you're a virgin and you go into the dating world. And Before she starts saying what she got to say. I want y'all to notice that the first lady that stood up, who was very belligerent, there was another black woman in the crowd saying, go get them, sis. Let them know, sis. Trying to take up for this woman foolishness to try to make her believe that the fact that she's now withholding sexual privileges is going to restore her virtue. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, let me keep going in this. I don't want to interrupt this one, but I want you to first see the difference between that lady and this second lady. You want him to get your nails done? You want him to give you money? Church. You want him to pay your rent? We're going to it church says, I am celibate. Church. That does not make sense. Right. You were supposed to tell that to your baby daddy. It does I not work think... like that. You were supposed to tell your baby daddy, we're I want you to, to pay my bills. Now. Take care of me for the rest of my life, and in return, I will give you a child. I fucked that up, too. I got a baby dad. Huh. But when I came back into the dating world, I was realistic. I was very realistic. I'm not telling no man get my nails and hair done, but I'm not giving you no coochie. Exactly. Exactly. Now, ladies and gentlemen, women like that who withhold these type of um, privileges, if you want to call them that, are walking in delusion. You only get one virginity, okay? All this BS about I am starting my second virginity is BS. For the people who say that being a virgin is traditional, being a virgin is outdated, that is also BS. Because everyone here is born a, bir a virgin. Everyone that is born is born as a virgin. It's the decisions that you make that take away your virginity, okay? You cannot restore your virtue after you lose it, okay? Just because you say one day, I'm tired. Now, I want you to understand, the only time these women say this is after they've been ran through, after they have been a 304 and walked through that 304 phase, okay? After they have been musty back helpers who slept with Pookie, Ray Ray, and Nook Nook, after they have had one or two baby daddies, after they realize life is hard being a single mom, now they want to say, I am a virgin again. I am a celibate person again. Look, when you decide to stop sleeping with people. You are still beneath the woman who is a virgin who has never been touched. You cannot compare yourself to a woman who has never been touched before, regardless if you stop engaging in sexual behaviors, okay? Once you lose your virginity, you lost it. It's never coming back, okay? Now, let's get into this other thing. There's another lady, an older lady, who says she's going to start her second virginity. And then I'm going to give you some definitions um, from the uh, what is it, Oxford Dictionary so I can break down to you what the difference is between abstinence and celibacy. 
Okay? So let me go ahead and play this lady first, man. Give me a second so I pull on the screen. I thought she was already up there. It's my bad. Just went on to my little rant. Haha. -ha. Okay, here she is. Let's get it. Hey, girl. Hey. Okay, listen. There was a time in my life when I did not believe in abstaining from sex until marriage because I was like, uh-uh. And I used to think that sexual compatibility was the utmost important um, in my relationship. Sexual compatibility is important. <laughs> However, it's not the only importance and it's not the utmost importance. So now that I am a single woman and I am a born again version, I see things more clearly now. And I realize that I am going to wait. I am going to abstain from sex until marriage because it just feels better to me that way. Because I tried the other way. And it just didn't seem to work for me, you know? Now, you see, she said exactly what I just told y'all. That these women decide to be quote unquote born again versions and go to being a celibate person after they have been in them streets and been ran through. Now, Here's the problem, ladies, before I start reading the definitions off to you, what you need to understand. There, most of you women are nothing more but secondhand goods, in my most humble opinion. You are nothing more but goodwill clothes, if I were to use a comparison. And this is not to disrespect you. When I say that, you are nothing more than hand-me-downs, meaning that you have been used by this person, used by that person. Men never get to enjoy any type of first with you. What do I mean by that? A man is robbed instantly in marriage because he can never say that he's the first man you ever been with. He can never say that because you done slept with several men. Today, a man can never say that I am the first biological father of that child because most of these women have several babies by several different men. Nowadays, men cannot say that I am the first man that she has ever moved into, meaning that she ever moved into a house with, because most of you women have moved in with several men before in your past. So what men are getting from you are used hand-me-downs, hand-me-down women, musty back helpers. This is what men are experiencing. So for you to say that you are now celibate and that you are refusing to please your man in an intimate way in the bedroom, it's for your own selfishness. It's for you to feel good about yourself. It doesn't please the man. It pleases you. Because somewhere in your demented minds, you think this will absolve or will erase all of the impure actions and activities that you participated in before you decided to walk right and be straight and, and be a good girl now. It only benefits you. Meanwhile, that man is out there paying for your nails, paying for them bills. If that's your husband, he doing or about to be your husband. If you dating him for two or three months at a time, he's taking you out on dates. He's spending money on a woman who is unwilling to give him what everybody else done had. A lot of you women are nothing more but community jump offs. People in the block know your name. People know what you do, what you have done. And then all of a sudden, you have this epiphany where... I think now I want to be a virgin. Someone tell me how that makes sense. Now, let me go ahead and um, give you the definitions of these two words so we can better understand what this is about. One second, y'all. Make sure it's on your screen. Yes, it is. All right. Abstinence. Okay. Abstinence, y'all. Let's go ahead and get to it. The fact or practice of restraining oneself from indulging in something. Typically alcohol. So I want you to understand something. You can practice 
abstinence when it comes to drinking, meaning that you refuse to drink and you're not going to indulge in it. You can practice abstinence when it comes to smoking cigars or cigarettes, meaning that you're not going to indulge in that. Abstinence can be applied to many different things, a plethora of different things. It is not only practice in sexuality, okay? So a lot of people say, I'm, I'm being abstinent, but they're really trying to say they're being celibate. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Hold on. Celibacy, all right? Mm. The state of abstaining from marriage and sexual relations. So abstinence covers a whole lot of things, but celibacy is only exclusive to or limited to sexual relations. Okay, so when women say I'm being abstinent, I'm going to wait for my Prince Charming. What well, she's trying to tell you, she's practicing celibacy. And if a woman cannot understand the difference between those two definitions, then they're going to get it mixed up anyway. They don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't know if they're being abstinent or if they're being celibate. Okay. I want to show you. I want to break that down for y'all. Definition. Well, I think I got another clip for you. Yeah, here it is. Let me find it for you right quick, y'all. Give me a second as I put it on the screen for you. Mm-hmm. How y'all doing out there this morning, by the way? Uh, all right, let's get it. Come on. Oh, you'll give it to a whack dude before, and then make a good guy wait. I don't think that you're trying to make the good guy wait. I think that you want him to see the value in you. Sometimes I'm like, all right, if I give it to him too, too soon, he's going to think, you know, like I'm not a good girl or there's no, like, you know, I'm just a quick, easy F or whatever. And I think that's sometimes what, women will do they'll 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 make the guy that they really like wait longer because that's who they really like see potential and i might see a husband and you that doesn't matter no i'm not encouraging people to be sexually out there i'm not saying that at all i do commend you if you decide to stop being a whore i i got you got no argument you get no argument from me on that but what she just said is profound these women will make the good man wait for the goodies and give the pookie, the Ray Ray, and the Nook Nook full accessibility to her womb because she sees something good in you and something bad in them. Their priorities are mixed up, okay? Virginities, we need to honor virginity again. Virginity, you know what I'm trying to say, being a virgin. We need to bring honor back to being a virgin. Now, many of us, myself included, Lost our virginities at a young age. But just because we did the wrong things does not mean that we need to tell the youngsters to do the wrong things as well. You get what I'm saying? What I don't like about this particular thing that's going on with our women, they are so enthused about second um, virginities, um, being celibate. They're telling the younger women, okay, be that. They're pushing that. They're promoting that. They're encouraging that. Why won't you take that same energy and tell these young girls before they get touched to remain virgins? That way you don't have to come back and tell them, hey, girl, practice your second virginity, which is non-existent. There's no such thing as a second virginity. Hey, girl, why don't you be celibate? Why don't you take that same energy and mold the minds of the young girls who are in front of different types of Degrading influences such as Sexy Red, Megan Thee Stallion, all the negative images that we see of young black women acting horishly. Why don't you take that energy and put that in them and say, look, resist that, restrain yourself. It's not worth giving up your womb and your trauma bonds come from you giving up your coochie. Did you know that? I, said, I mentioned in another video, if women would remain virgins, they would not develop trauma bonds because these women sleep with these men, right? And when they sleep with these men, they get attached to these men who are pookies, ray ray, or nook nooks, or whatever they may be, get their heart broken, and then their mind go through something called mind mapping or brain mapping. And what that means is you are programming yourself subconsciously to accept the fact that you have the ability to sleep with random men and have the ability to walk away as if it didn't matter. This is why you cannot parabun. Because when you get with a man, you sleep with him, but you already have trained yourself to be able to walk away at the drop of a dime because that's what you've been doing with all the other men that you've been sleeping with. Did you hear what I'm saying to you? Let's keep going.
than you. And just like men, like, see certain women like, oh, she's wife material or, you know, she's just somebody I'm going to smash. I think women are able to do that as well. Like, you know, oh, you know, he, he's got a lot of good qualities. He got some good stuff going for himself. You know, I'm going to just, you know, let me see how it goes. Let me make him wait for it. Mm. I'm going to make him wait for him. I'm going to make the man that may be Prince Charming. I'm going to make the man who may be my next husband jump through all these hoops. I'm going to make him swim through shark infested waters. I'm going to make him jump through hoops that are on fire. I'm going to make him climb the highest mountain top to pick a dandelion for me or any flower up there. I'm going to make him do all these things to get the coochie. But Pookie Ray Ray Nook Nook. I'm just going to send him a text <laughs> and say, come on over. <laughs> so I want to let you know, man, For because there are virgins out there, not that many, but there are virgins out there, men and women alike. I want you, I hope you find this video, and I hope that this encourages you to remain virgins. And I hope this also helps the younger women and the younger men not to be um, whores or whoremongers, and I hope that um, it can kind of help people, you know, the, especially the younger people. Because people my age and the older generation, it, we through. We're done with. We don't did our shit, right? We don't did our stuff. But the younger ones, with this new generation of 304 culture, it's sickening now. Okay? So I hope this gets to them. Share this with people like that. Uh, leave a like. I hardly ever say that, but leave a like. Hit the like button. Subscribe. All that yada, 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 yada stuff. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'll be talking to y'all pretty soon. Y'all take it easy now. You hear?